Annotations are free tools in YouTube that can help you improve engagement on your videos, increase your subscribers, growing your audience, increase your viewership, and encourage your viewers to take some type of an action like subscribe or even click a link back to your website. This is Lisa Jared, and today I'm showing you how to add annotations to your YouTube videos. Although there's five different types of annotations, we're going to focus on two of them that really get results. The first one is a note annotation, which creates pop-up boxes on your videos containing text. These are clickable text overlays. And the other one is a spotlight, which highlights very specific areas in your video, like an image, a graphic, or if you have an end card, you can direct your viewers to other videos back to your website or subscribe. Let's get started, shall we? Here we are in YouTube, and you see below the video there are six different icons. The fourth icon over is Annotations. Click the Annotations icon. Once you click the Annotations icon, you'll be on the Annotations page, and notice that the icons now appear above your video. You see a timeline below your video. You can drag this timeline to wherever location in your video where you want the annotation to appear. For this example, I'm going to click hold and drag that vertical bar to about 30 seconds into my video, which is exactly where I'm going to put a subscribe link. You see on the right hand side there's an add annotation link. Click add annotation and the drop down box shows you five different types of annotations that you can add. Click note. There's a note text box. Type in the text that you want to appear on your annotation. You can type whatever you want, just be very direct. I'm using click here to subscribe. You can also have normal or impact text. Change the size of your text. I'm choosing 16. You can also change the color and I recommend that you use a color that is going to be complementary to the colors of your video. You can move your clickable text overlay to wherever you want on your screen. I recommend putting it on the left or right side in the upper portion of your video. And you can also grab these little handles around your clickable annotation to make it bigger or smaller. You can click on the annotation in the timeline to determine how long you want it to appear. I recommend 5 to 7 seconds, no more than 10. The next thing that we do is provide a clickable link. For this annotation, click the drop down list and you'll see there's a number of things that you can select. Click subscribe. I have a text file here with my link for subscription and I'm copying and pasting it into the link box. And I'm also selecting open link in a new window. Make sure that you click on save and apply changes. And then you can see exactly how this is going to play out when it's going to appear in your video and if you like exactly where it appears you can leave it where it is or make some type of an adjustment and here's my link appearing right now. The next type of annotation that I'm going to show you is a spotlight annotation. So I'm dragging all the way to the end so I can quickly get to the end of my video. And you can see that I'm using an end card in my video and that's exactly where I'm going to put my next clickable annotation. Go to Add Annotation, select Spotlight, and with Spotlight, it adds the Spotlight annotation, click, hold, and drag it. So you can see that I'm click, hold, and dragging it over my content marketing image. And I want to link that to another video. I have the link to the video in my text file. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it into the link box. And this one I would like it to open in a brand new window. And I want it to appear through the end of the video. So go back, make sure you save, and apply your changes. We're going to go back to watch. 
and I'm going to go to the very end of my video and click that annotation that I just added and you can see that it brings us to the video that I connected and if we go to that 30 second mark in the video you can see that there's a clickable subscribe annotation there. Are you using YouTube annotations? How is that working for you? Are you able to grow your audience and get a little bit more engagement using the clickable annotations? Do share your best tips in the comments below. This is Lisa Jared. I thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday with my very best tips and tricks about internet marketing and I also post tutorials like this one. Thank you again and I'll see you on the next video.